hello guys and welcome to 3d who and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to model your component on first floor that's this particular building okay this duplex all right we're going to continue from where we stopped on our last duplex model and also if you're already wondering like ah, since when did you get to this point don't worry let's go back this is where we stopped in our last tutorial okay so we're doing something like this today right just a clue so that you know what we're working on today okay so first thing let's work on the windows you can see this one doesn't have windows on the first floor okay we only have some few doors attached already so let's work on the windows so let's go back to the floor plan okay from the floor plan which is on story three okay from story three let's pick our window two okay window two another way of um okay let's just pick the windows inside okay this is the particular window we're making use of the width is 600 the height let's go with 1.5 1500 1500 okay all right the seal height is 800 um let's go with 700 or 600 rather let's go with 600 okay all right 75 this one is cool okay so let's start with the front one okay front windows pick from here to here from here to here and for this side don't worry about the front we'll align the windows later okay we we'll align them with um with the ground floor windows since there's space for that okay and um okay for this for the toilet windows let's go with 600 by 600 and the seal window seal will be one five okay one five the seal height okay two toilet windows plus this one making it three let's check what we've done so far okay so this is our windows all right this is our windows but if you look here you get to see that it's not really aligned with the ground one okay and um okay let's see let's see let's see it's running the room windows so let's go back to our floor plan again select your window okay let's change this particular one now to one two by one two okay seal height nine okay nine hundred um okay 75 let's do some minor settings inside okay minor settings inside okay for the side hung let's make it double instead of single double size okay double size i'll explain that in a bit okay all right let's first of all um put the windows here install them here this one should be here and then one here for you know cross ventilation yeah let me explain that size okay if you check this particular one this one only have one size okay that means you can only open it one that is one panel okay one panel but for this other one which is a wider window all right this one we don't want to have only one panel on this one that was the reason we made it two sas okay two sas or double sas all right so there's one and this one this panel is known as one this other one too so it's known as one two that's two all right so let's proceed okay so we have our windows now secondly let's work on this particular one okay this dwarf wall let's work on this dwarf wall still click on your story okay your floor plan which is story three and this time around let's select wall okay let's select wall and for our wall thickness this time let's go with 150 that's six inches block 150 okay and um let's take something okay 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 the paint is white already it is this white blue here, so it's cool this time let's um let's draw it here you know we have cantilever here already you can see that on um 
you can see that on the 3d okay let's check i know this wall will be very high let's see what we have okay but this is the wall this is the wall we are reducing this wall to 450 that's two blocks okay 450 once you click here i discover the wall is moving go back to this point okay and click on stretch stretch height and type in 450 okay 450 click on the second wall this time around just pull it down align it with this other line this other wall click on this one too same thing pick any of the node and then highlight it and align it with this particular one okay so let's see what we've done all right we have this already okay what's next um okay let's work on this this particular height this height okay check your elevations just to be sure of what we are doing okay let's see what's the height from here to here you can do that using line okay we have 4300 4369 okay so go back to your 3d for this particular one all right click on the first one this one click on here okay it's still on that stretch so click 4000 4369 i guess yeah i think i'm correct so this is what we have same thing here raise this one to this point okay raise this other one to to this point all right to the same point okay so let's see how far we've done but before then remember we haven't aligned these windows they are still on their own so let's try and align them first okay click your south elevation click on this window click on this first node all right this one permits you to move around then hold down your shift key and align you see a line coming out trace this line this external line and click it there okay automatically this one have aligned itself Click on this one too. Click on this one. Okay. Hold down your shift key. And then align. Then leave the shift key. Same thing with this one. You can see if, if you were to draw a vertical line here, you see that they are not aligned. Okay. So click on this one too. Hold, click on this first point, the node. Hold down your shift. Okay. And click. Click on this other one to hold down this point. Any point shall but since hold down your shift key and aligned on this particular edge. So we have the same thing both up and downstairs. Okay. So we'll go back to your 3D. Let's see what we've done so far. So this is what we have. What's next now? Okay, this time around, let's model this particular um design this design let's work on this particular design which is this i will make you use of let's make use of the slab tool okay let's make use of the slab tool so for the extension okay from here to here is 450 let's make sure that first to be sure let's make sure that to be sure okay 450 okay it's 400 it's 400 okay all right so click on your slab and then from here hold down your shift key plus tap d once okay and type in type in the distance 400 same thing from here hold down your shift key all right let's see what it is in this particular one okay all the way to this side okay so the same thing we're doing here all the way to this point and then from here back to this point okay then pick your arrow tool click on this particular one all right click outside and type in make sure it's under this offset edge type in 400 then from here now still pick the same slab okay 
and click from this point by this this time around let's uh, make use of this square okay and click here all right let's check our 3d now so this is what we have which is this okay is this so click on this one hold down your shift key click on this one to take this one down down to this point you can hold down your shift key okay down to this point and click and um the thickness okay the thickness this time around let's make it 450 let's make this 450 okay let this be 4 450 so just take this one down a little bit and then click on the first one which is this one all right and drag this one up but you notice that everything is moving up okay so click on this stretch this stretch height okay click on stretch height and bring it to this point bring it to this point okay and now pick the same one okay click instead of stretching it click on this arrow this box which is the move all right and click on tap in control once all right to activate your duplicate so from here now okay from here now look what we have here okay look what we have here look at the space down here so take this one check this point this one has to go up a little more Okay, so take this one up a little more. And now click on this one. Click on this stretch, right? The stretch, and then align it with this point. Okay. So let's bring this one forward a little bit. Okay. To this point. And um, click on slap again. Then we are drawing from here to this point. Okay, from this point now, 400 down to this point. Okay, down to this point. Then we click here and join everything back. So let's see what we have. All right, so click here, change the thickness to instead of 150, change the thickness to 400. I'm sorry, 450 rather. 450. Okay. Okay. So you can see we are getting it already. Okay. This is what we have. And from there, you can see what we have here. You can see these lines are, are black lines, but these ones are showing kind of sky blue. Okay. So let's change them. How to do that is to, you know, highlight on those, highlight those particular ones. Okay. Those components, highlight them. Click on setting dialog and under this um floor plan and sections, okay. Scroll down this middle one you're seeing, this particular one, this on cut line pen. Click on it, change it to black and click OK. So you can see the lines are black now. Okay. So you're almost having the same thing. So the next thing now is um is this one. Okay, it's this one so let's do that let's do that let's do that let's do that the same tool which is your slab tool let's use this rectangular shape okay let's make use of the rectangular shape let's start from here to here okay and then go to your front view all right go to your front view we need to expand this one a little uh, yeah to your front view you can see the thickness starts above this line so the same thing we are doing here we're taking this slab up okay up to this point to this point and from here what about the height the same thing the height is the same thing so go back to your 3d okay from 3d now <laughs> let's take this one up okay Let's take this one up. Let me first of all show what is happening here. Okay, this is what is happening here, like a slab. So we're taking this one up to. Okay, so pick, click on this one, select this point, and then it's still on that stretch. Then we take this one up. 
to this point all right same thing we have now so you click on this one then change it back to change the color remember what i said that time so it's from here this middle one which is the on on cut line pane okay click on it select the dark color the line color you want so then for this other work i'm bringing them up from here stretch again don't forget to stretch anytime you find out the door is moving make sure you click on stretch okay then for this other line this other wall okay we are taking everything up right everything is coming up so you click on the wall bring the wall up too okay so this is what we've done so far okay can you spot the difference all right let me just um work on the staircase on um, the steps entrance steps which is this one okay let's work on the entrance steps then then we'll call it the day for today's tutorial all right same thing click on floor plan okay this time around let's go to first floor or ground floor let's go to first ground floor yeah let's go to ground floor click on slab before then change it okay thickness is 150 so it's okay go back to this single line okay this geometry this polygonal click on it okay, let's draw line a distance of 300 same thing from here to here from this point to this point to this point okay click on the line click on move you see now it's stretching itself so click on drag tap control once drop it here let's check our 3d let's see what we have here okay this first one click on this node raise it up type in 300 and then for the second one but before then uh, we need to raise this thing up okay let's just finish this one first this one 300 go to south elevation okay south elevation you can see the two slabs here now this one and this one so move everything up to this point now we are good to go okay so let's check our 3d now so we have we have steps now the two steps we have our door and the remaining thing now for this is this openings on this wall okay it's openings these openings okay so we're doing the same thing here and then we'll call it a day for today okay so come down to this point you see open to okay click on open to let's change the width and the height let's make it 600 by 600 okay so you click the first one up and then let's click on this one and copy it down okay click on drag click on drag tap control once to have a copy of it and then click it here so we have the same thing here what we have here is the same thing we have here all right so thank you so much for your time and if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe then on our next video okay on our next video we'll be working on the roof okay and see we didn't touch the roof today so in our next video we're working on the roof so see you on our next tutorial okay thank you once again for your time